Many years ago, great British explorer George Mallory, who was to die on Mount Everest, was asked why did he want to climb it. He said because it is there. The space is there. And we're going to climb it. And the moon and the planets are there. And new hopes for knowledge and peace are there. Therefore, as we set sail, we ask God's blessing on the most hazardous and dangerous and greatest adventure on which man has ever embarked. The ship could get you to the Oort Cloud here, right? Grappling lines? She's too hot. The grab holds will tear apart. Our instruments are non-functional. My daughter and I need help, urgent help! Pete's scrambling the reception. They don't know we're here. Sir, I think I can maneuver and get under her hull. Negative, Lieutenant. We can't risk this ship. We can't just let them burn to death. It's enough, Lieutenant. Inform HQ, we'll follow her down and send coordinates on the debris field. <laughs> it is survival compartment. Sad, that's just in there. Sad, not killing a prison. That's it. She's done for. Buckle in, sir. It's cool enough for us to grab hold. Have an angel fly into your life when you least expect it. <laughs> Glad to be of service, Dr. Odara. Brought the med kit. Your hands. I'm fine. Attend to my daughter, please. Monorail leaving platform, please stand clear. You bust your ship all to hell. So they give you a shiny new one. 
I did. In my day, we called them road captains, retired on active duty. Senior officers just waiting for their pension, keeping their heads tucked in, never taking a risk. Dad, just hold your tongue. Park Hill will get kicked up the food chain and you'll make captain. Another victory for spinelessness. He had a failure in nerve, that's all. I wasn't talking about him. The place sure has changed. Used to be a desert. It's all just the synthetics. He's two months away from retirement. Well, I'm supposed to burn down his career and mine. We're on a grapevine as he's rethought that. What? Well, now that he's been kicked up the chain of command. Put off his retirement indefinitely. So one more bad penny keeps getting to make life and death decisions. in the good old days. Humans weren't designed to observe. We were built to do. So yeah, I miss them. Let me tell you something. Soft lives make soft men. Soft men make soft choices. What's the point of that? You're not even on the planet. But Mecca is. You keep saying that. So do you. And I'll keep on saying it. It doesn't make a frigging bit of sense. You have to have something to believe in. I believe when this shift is over, I'm gonna have a drink. Peace Prize was awarded today to human rights activist Anoka Chandamal Kemmer, whose United Planet movement culminated in her future husband, Captain Anson Kemmer of the United States Space Command, spearheading a multinational force that tethered a captured ice comet to the North Pole, causing the Gulf Stream to be renewed and averting an ecological disaster of catastrophic proportions. In other news, British forces on Titan faced insurgents today. There were no reported fatalities. We snared a comet. Hold it to Earth, it was a hell of a thing. I was a hero to the whole world. But 
to the brass, I was still a pain in the ass. But it's never about the brass. The sore up there, that's what it's about. That guy's been calling to the men of our family ever since your great-great-grandfather joined the Lafayette Escadrille in World War I. We fly. That's what we cameras do. And one day, you're gonna have a ship of your own, and you're gonna fly a lot farther. And you take care of her and your crew. Hey, Ma. Getting away from it all? <sighs> I'm beginning to feel grateful for those 30 years of peace. It's so good to have you home. Sorry I didn't make the ceremony. My only regret is that they didn't honor your father as well. An idea as unpopular as mine was is nothing without a relentless someone driving it home. What was the overlook? I, I love your father dearly. But he would alienate as many people as he would enroll. Politics. You know, follow in his footsteps. That's his courageous path. Except I know that's not possible. Courage doesn't follow. And what is your purpose? To be of service. And whom do you serve? Whoever leases me. And how does that make you feel? Happy. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Dor Nevin, the first of what will soon be legions of contented synthetic workers to serve your every need. Brought to you by Mazzy Patillo. Questions? Yeah. Can they harm humans or allow humans to come to harm? With the exception of the combat models, no. If, like the brochure says, they're smarter than we are, what's to prevent them from doing whatever they want? Good question. The same thing that compels them to safeguard humans and obey their every command. An inhibitor chip guaranteed for the life of the model. Now, there'll be time for more questions at the reception, but for right now, let's show our friend here exactly what we think about him, okay? You hear that? <laughs> they love you. Are you alive? No. How bad is it? Bad, but it could have been worse. Only synthetics, no humans. Thank God for that. What do you want done with them? Burn them. They're under warranty. We'll get some more. I think I can fix this one. Ah, trash him. He's not worth it. You got something better for me to do? Huh. Suit yourself. Come on. Let's go.
Captain Essex. Captain Kemmer. Pleasure. Call me Jack. Laura, how was your flight? Look, I know that the Paladin was supposed to be your ship. You're the man of the hour, Captain, and it is not for me to question the wisdom of the brass. I just wanted to apologize. They're readying her sister ship, the Templar. I'll be out there soon enough. What happened there? An explosion with the Alcubier drive. Took out a lot of buildings and a lot of good men. Command hushed it up. No faster than light speed for the foreseeable future. Solar system will have to do. Listen, do you want to get a cup of coffee or one of the sandwiches they have here? It'll make you glad to get back to Mars. No, thank you. That's not what you're here for. Welcome to the Paladin. Show it to you sometime. Thank you. It's just a movie. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't have much in the way of parts. Thank you for my life. I thought you weren't alive. It's a matter of debate. Oh, sorry, that's uh. That's my son. He's in boarding school on Mars. Hey, Dad. I... Wow, a synthetic. You've never brought one of those home before. Where are your manners, Odin? His name is Doran Evan. Hi. Pleased to meet you. Can we keep him? He's company property. I'm just fixing him. It seems only fair. They were going to destroy me. Why are you different than all the others? Odin, I was originally designed for something else. What? Private service. For important rich people? Yes. How'd you end up in the mines? We were crafted to ask questions to more efficiently do our jobs. But I was the first, and I had an eccentricity. Sometimes it seems I asked questions, which made my owners uneasy. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm like you. Uh, we'll talk more later, son. Yeah, but Dad... Goodbye, Odin. You saw something, didn't you? Your inhibitor. It's been destroyed. You could replace it? Of course. Please. Don't. Engineer, down there. Smart suits. Deck creates a current through the entire suit, simulating 1G. Strike fighters. Pulse cannons, upper, lower, grappling lines. It works. And has a new car smell. Captain on deck. At ease. This is Sinek. My intel off... Your intel officer. Chilton? I keep this bird alive. Glad to hear it. 
Le Guin, navigation. Bradbury, pilot. Have you ever been to Mars, Lieutenant? No, sir. I'm looking forward to it. It's sometimes hard getting used to the fact you go outside without protection to die. I'm from Detroit, sir. You'll do fine. So, not only stolen your ship, I've also taken your crew. They'll do you proud. And if you decide to save two more women from burning to death, they'll follow you into the mouth of hell. I'm not, uh, I'm not planning on doing that again anytime soon. I don't know, Captain. It's a pretty big sky. Hey, Laura. Uh, when you hit Marsport, maybe we can grab that sandwich. On second thought, we better not. I've got issues. I can be pretty entertaining. You really are remarkable animals, you men. Chimpanzees could not have done all this. Not without considerable modification. I thought you'd run away. I thought about it. But where would I run? Or more to the point, how? Do you like it here? It's a paycheck. It's a prison. Should you be saying this to me? Who else could I possibly say it to? I'm starting to get that uneasy question thing you've got going. I used to feel the same way about this place. Used to. Well, except for my son. I've stopped feeling almost everything. And yet, you believe in God. I've watched you pray from the mines. You, as I, are unlike the rest. My wife, Aronique, she was unlike the rest. We were camping. Yellowstone, you know it? Yes. Odin was barely a year old. This was before the volcano, of course. There was a flash flood burst through without warning. Big boulders, trees roaring by. Never seen anything like it. The water's alive, murderous. We got to high ground, but there was another family that was trapped. Veronique got a rope across, climbed over, and managed to start them back, one by one. Now it was her turn. But by then, the water was higher. Odin was screaming. So I handed him off to one of the others. I, I moved along the rope. I stretched out my hand. And she was gone.
if I had just had the faith to let go of the rope, to leap. You'd have both been killed. Since then, the only thing I've heard from God is silence. Maybe he's speaking to you now. The family you still have is on Mars. We could join him. Emergency power. Armed. Lead air control panel. Set. Fusion system panel. Set. Cabin pressure. Auto. Ladies and gentlemen, we are good to go. You all know this is my first command. And I know that you were expecting to be flying with somebody considerably more experienced and attractive. I also don't have to tell you who my father is. He casts a pretty big shadow. He and I, we don't see eye to eye on things. But he shared a story once with me about a young sailor, a long time back, who boarded his new ship and saw not one able-bodied seaman. So he leans to the nearest and says, Is that man deaf? Aye, aye, he's deaf. But he sees the reef before we near it. And while I, though blind, feel the wind before it blows, keep us safe from storm. Oh, and you're your captain, with no legs? Aye, he must be carried, but he always knows the way. Alone, true, we're of little worth, but together, we are invincible! I, I just made that up. <laughs> but still, whatever our individual weaknesses, together we will be invincible. Are you with me? Yes, yes sir. sir. All right. Lieutenant Bradbury. Yes, sir. If you don't mind. Captain's prerogative. <laughs> yes, sir. Command, this is Paladin. Requesting permission to get this show on the road. Roger that, Paladin. You are cleared to begin launch sequence. On my mark. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Mark. Paladin is away. That's my girl.